Sharks Hockey on Comcast Sportsnet California is brought to you by Jack in the Box. Try the new Fajita Ranch Melt for only $3.99 plus tax at a participating Jack in the Box near you. By Toyota, do the math and save at your local Toyota dealer. And by Xfinity, home of the most live sports. Our starting netminders tonight here in Los Angeles on Emmy. 18 wins and coming off a 20-save victory in St. Louis on Tuesday night. He'll hope to give the Sharks a win in their final game of this three-game road trip. And there is the man who's being talked about all around the NHL, 23-year-old Martin Jones. He's a rookie. He's 6-0. Three of those six wins have been by a shutout. He has quite simply been phenomenal. Todd McClellan and the Sharks, they've seen Jones on tape. Many of the Sharks have played against him in the American League. He is not an unknown quantity to them. Daryl Sutter is, well, he is the beneficiary of a bounty of net minding right now. As, of course, we talked about Jones, we talked about Ben Scrivens, and this is all in the absence of arguably one of the best in the NHL, Jonathan Quick, who's still out with an injury. Patrick Marlowe, game number 1,200 for him in the NHL tonight. And the Sharks looking to take a 2-1 lead in the season series. But most importantly, Drew, I think, for the team's confidence from the Sharks' standpoint, get a win on LA Ice. It's been a while. It has been a long time. This has obviously been a home and home series, or home ser uh, home ice series, I should say, is when these teams play in their own building, they're phenomenal. And when you come to their building, it is tough to get a win. But you know what? The San Jose Sharks don't need to change their game in order to get a win. I don't think that, like Todd McClellan said, that LA's in the Sharks' head, so to speak, when they come to LA. Just happens to work out that way. The home team has won each of the last 14 meetings between these two teams. So it isn't just the Sharks who are having trouble winning on road ice in this series as the puck goes all the way back into the L.A. zone. That had a little something on it from Dwight King. Just a bit. Yeah. Enough to go all the way there with some speed on it. Held in at the point by Matt Irwin, and that had something on it too. But a save made, and his first of the game by Jones. Now a drive, tipped at the front of the net, and that sails over the goal, as Dan Boyle got it toward net. Thornton coming off the board, back to Irwin, and deflected in front of Jones, back to the near side, Boyle. Great first shift for the Sharks top line here. Hurdle works it over to Irwin, back for Thornton, goes back to Tomas Hurdle. Now from the blue line, it is Irwin putting it on net. Frozen by Martin Jones, and a good start. A good first shift for the Sharks as we look at Todd McClellan's lines and his defense pairs. And at forward, Tyler Kennedy back in the lineup for the Sharks tonight. So Tyler Kennedy brings some speed, brings that grit. I liked Mike Brown last game against the St. Louis Blues. I thought he really battled and brought some grit. What you saw in that first shift, how were the Sharks in front of the net? One thing you should be watching, how were the Sharks in front of Martin Jones? That last shift? They were very good, both Hurdle and Burns. Scott Hannon also back in the lineup on defense tonight. He's been out the last five games with an upper body ailment. So the Sharks get a steady blue liner back in Hannon, not dressed, but on the trip tonight are Jason Demers and John McCarthy. And if you missed it yesterday, Matt Nieto has been sent to San Francisco in the East Coast League. Here's your Kings lines for Daryl Sutter. And like the Sharks, right down the middle, they are super strong. And like the Sharks, there's no drop off from line to line as far as the way they play. Pretty much non-negotiable with both teams. This is the way you're going to play. Colin Fraser back in the lineup. And then on the back end, Drew Doughty, one of the best puck moving defensemen in the National Hockey League and a very good, strong defense with Robin Regeer, who loves to play the body. Martinez and Green. Great shot blocker that Matt Green is and leader. Fraser centering that fourth line, as you said, after missing the last three games. So not dressed for LA tonight. Daniel Carcillo, Matt Pratt, and Willie Mitchell. There's Drew Doughty having another outstanding year on the blue line for the Los Angeles Kings. And the Kings, quite simply, are an excellent defensive team. We perhaps over uh, yeah. accentuate the goaltending aspect of it. They are the best defensive team in the NHL. They allow an average of just 1.89 goals per game. They went for a stretch where they didn't allow a first period goal for 17 straight games until Chicago just recently on the road trip broke that. But that last game, they did the same thing. 18 of their 19 games, they have not allowed a first period goal. There's a shot that's blocked by Muzzin and comes to this side. During that same stretch, 
They gave up two or less goals in 18 in a row. And when that happens, you win and you accumulate points. And that's why the Kings now moved ahead of the Sharks in the standings. 50 points for LA, the Sharks two back. Sharks lose the puck at their own blue line coming out, but get it back, and Logan Couture will send it up the middle of the ice. The, in the same amount of games, the Kings have gained three points in the Sharks, and that's why they are where they are right now in the standings. The Sharks were hot there for a while, but as we've talked about several times, it cooled off a little bit in the way they played, and their results, the Kings gained on them, as has Vancouver, as is every team in the West. If you do not get on an extended streak where you're not winning, you're going to have some problems staying up at the top of the standings. Sharks now five back of Anaheim. As we check our Lexus keys to the game. Well, there's really no secrets and nothing changes for the San Jose Sharks when you go into the game. You have to work to be inside. We'll talk about that from now until the end of the season. You have to beat their forecheck. You have to beat their forecheck quickly. And my last but not least, the eyes have it. We're talking about the eyes of Martin Jones. If Martin Jones sees it, he's going to get it in his glove. He's going to stop it. He's going to have the puck. So you've got to get in his eyes so he can't have it. And it goes in the back of the net. Jones, a native of North Vancouver, was never drafted in the NHL. Wasn't picked his draft eligible year, but the Kings had scouted him. They liked him, just not enough to be one of their picks. And they signed him to a three-year deal, originally set him back down to junior. We played for the Calgary Hitman in the Western Hockey League. Then on to Manchester in New Hampshire. And now he's done what he's done here in the NHL. Six wins in a row, three of them by a shutout. Panic in first. Now from behind the L.A. net. James Shepard trying to get it centered, but it's intercepted by L.A.'s captain Dustin Brown. A stretch pass for Williams. He'll chase it down against Brad Stewart, who gets a body on number 14. And Pavelski will give it back to the former Kings blue liner, Stewart. Shepard, he's bucked hard by Muzzin, but moves the puck. Wingles one-handed to the net, and Penalty. Jones the save. Penalty on Dowdy, really good play. First by Shepard, just to let the puck go. And have the puck go by him as the hit is made by Muzzin at the blue line. And then terrific support by Tommy Wingles coming in. Kelly Sullivan calling a penalty, Drew Dowdy. And that's what happens when you drive the net, when you use your speed and you drive the net. Good effort by Tommy Wingles. Draws the penalty, Sharks get on that power play. Of course, the special teams are always important in a game between the Kings and the Sharks. Last game in this building, the special teams is what changed it. And the Sharks trying to find a way to score a power play goal on the road. They are 0 for their last 16 on the road on the power play. And they're on a catch for power play right here. Period one, no score. And Marlowe will get it to Dan Boyle up at the point. Pavelski back for Boyle. Marlowe has a look, feeds the middle. It bounces through past Thornton. And Richards takes his time and sends it back down the ice. Actually, quite a good idea right there. And, and just missed is going for a deflection from the slot position. LA's got a good penalty kill. Tied for fourth, but they take a lot of penalty kills. They get a lot of practice. Boyle shot, and that's tipped by Pavelski up and out of play. I should have said they take a lot of penalties. LA, one of the most penalized teams in the league. Nice entry into the zone. Clean up through the zone, right through the neutral zone. Attack with speed and support. And then quickly try to get the puck to the net. As soon as the, shark, the Sharks entered the offensive zone, they're going back to Dan Boyle on the point. Dan Boyle's not happy with himself. He never seems to be happy with himself. Always looking for perfection, but right away getting the shot on net. We're trying to get it on that, I should say that one went over. Here's Pavelski, he's got numbers, and the shot oh. by Couture wide, how did he miss? I have no idea, I thought for sure that was going in with Logan. Wow, what a great face off. In for Marlowe, can't get the tip, puck behind the net. Matt Green trying to get it sorted out with Muzzin, but it's kept in by Boyle. And now cleared by Muzzin, oh boy, what a chance for Couture. He is just snake bit right now around the net, Logan. Two goals in his last 16 games. He's gone seven in a row without a goal at all. I don't know if he's snake bit, Randy. He's more like a bowler constrictor. Yeah. He's squeezing that stick as, and his hands as tight as it can. It's got to break one of these nights. Irwin. That's on net. Jones the same. And cleared by Stoll. Out to center ice, 30 to go on the power play. That one just hit Jones. I don't think he really saw it. Back up the ice comes Brent Burns. Send it wide to the left for a half lap, but not a good pass. Force it, take what the opposition gives. That's the key to any good power play. 
Wingles, he's got Havlat on the wing. There's a shot, and Hurdle miss. Great entry into the zone again. Marty Havlat with a nice set of hands. Now Wingles, any fans on a bouncing puck. Carter will pick it up. He looks to his left to see if Dowdy's coming out. Not yet. He takes a shot that Burns gets a piece of, but now Dowdy is out. And the Kings have their penalty kill taken care of. And a shot by Kyle Clifford, caught by Niemi. Traffic in front for Antti Niemi, too. Well, two terrific chances for the San Jose Sharks on their power play. How about this faceoff? What a great job by the Sharks to get to the puck and attack. This is a three on one. Logan Couture's got it, and how he misses, who knows. And what a great chance for Tomas Hurdle coming in quick. But again, a missed opportunity as misses the net. Look at the traffic, and Antti Niemi fights it off. Martin Havlin battling with Mike Richards as well. That's a nice sign to see early in the game. Sharks with one shot on goal on that power play, but they were credited with three scoring chances. Those, those are those. Those are A misses that you've got right there for Logan Couture and Tomas Hurdle. By A, do you mean, I mean you, a missed, plus you missed, eh? A, yeah, exactly. A plus chance. Fraser across the ice goes Clipper. Now Marlow checks his shoulder. Clipper on him. Now Clipper, a physical banging winger. And Jake Muzzle will lob it back toward the net. The Emmy will catch and hand it off to Mark Edward Classic. Sharks started this road trip with a loss in Nashville. Came from behind, but couldn't quite seal the deal. Then, win in St. Louis Tuesday night to sweep that season series. And now trying to get some more road momentum here against their arch rival. Poinov for LA. And he'll push that to the San Jose net where it's covered. No score here in the first period on Comcast Sportsnet California. By cold hard facts, Patrick Marlowe playing in his 1200th game tonight is the third fastest player to do it. Scott Stevens in 34 years and 17 days. After that, former Shark Vinny Domfus, who did it as a San Jose Shark, and then Marlowe. But if you take out all the lockouts that Marlowe's endured, and those other two endured one as well, and assume that he plays most of the games, Marlowe would have been at the top of that list. I, I disagree with you. I think he's the fastest amongst Stamkos and Stevens there. <laughs> That's true. Fleet of foot for sure. <laughs> of course, Patrick Marlowe broke into the NHL as an 18-year-old under that man, Daryl Sutter. And despite... Talk about trial by fire. Yeah. Holy so, hey, hey, tough love. Tough love. It's good for a young guy. A little bit of wisdom in there as well. That's why you and I give all that tough love to our young oh, teenagers. Yeah. Kids, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And we've got an offside oh, play at the... San Jose line. Marlo, but, interestingly, when you think about it, yeah. 1,200 games. He's played for only three head coaches. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And talking yeah. to Mike Aldrich, Darryl Sutter. Darryl Sutter, Ronnie Wilson, and of course now Tom McCullough. I was talking to Mike Aldrich about Patrick Marlowe and, and what Patrick Marlowe in his first season was able to experience. The guys he drove to work with every day, Kelly Rudy and Mike Vernon. He lived with Kelly Rudy. I mean, if you want to learn how to be a professional and you're a young kid from Saskatchewan. I can't think of anybody better that you want your, your son with and you want to be with in order to learn what it takes to be a National Hockey League player because Kelly Rudy and Mike Vernon two of the best. Here's Carter, and he puts this on net. I'll say this. If you've lived with Kelly Rudy, you ought to have a more sarcastic <laughs> sense of humor than Patrick does right yeah, absolutely. now. Absolutely. <laughs> only some people can master it like Kelly. There are the games leaders in the NHL since Patrick broke in. Joe Thornton, of course, he's had a few more injuries over the years. They were drafted one and two that year in 97. And to keep our fingers crossed, Joe will get to 1,200 this year. Absolutely amazing. And, and to continue to be at such an elite level. Now Marlowe checked up near the blue line by Green. Matt Green just back off an injury. Missed 15 games. The other thing, you know, he, he's got Tony Granato around with him. He had Vincent Danfus, Bernie Nichols. Uh, give Ronnie Sutter. He had a lot of guys who were veteran players at the time he came into the league. And he prides himself on learning from those guys on how to be a professional. You know, Patty takes a lot of heat for that even keel personality. But he works on that and he purposely has developed that personality. Doesn't mean he doesn't have fire. Doesn't mean he doesn't want to win. Doesn't mean he doesn't have the passion to win or be successful. It's just he knows how to internalize it and make it work for his advantage. So his first goal against Phoenix, 
about two weeks into his first year against Nikolai Habibullin. Switch out here. Uh -oh. Muzzin circles the Sharks net, puts it on goal, and off the pad of Niemi out to this side. Carter will bang it around for King. Dwight King looks out front. He had Kopitar there. Now Vlasic trying to clean it up, but King cut it off. Dowdy back along the boards for King. Here's Carter. Pulls the trigger. What a wrist shot, but he missed high. This is where the Sharks do not want to be. Another one chopped to the net. As Braun was there, King didn't have quite the room to wind up, but a good pushback by L.A. Well, bring a Sharks territory sign when you travel. Snap a photo and you'll have a chance to win two flights on Alaska Airlines because every month the fan that submits the best Sharks territory photo on sjsharks.com wins the Alaska Airlines tickets. For details and to order a free Sharks territory sign, go to sjsharks.com slash Sharks territory. Tyler Kennedy chasing this one down with Mike Brown, but it's Robin Regeer winning the icing battle. Yes, Sharks have their fourth line on the ice right now. Well, one thing you don't want, you have Tyler Kennedy back in the lineup after sitting out the St. Louis game. One thing you don't want is when you saw that last shift for Todd McCall and San Jose Sharks spending a lot of time in their zone. When the pinch starts going for the LA Kings, when they start getting that forecheck going, they are a formidable foe because it is tough to break out against them. Desjardins standing in against Fraser. And that's a 10th face-off win for the Sharks in this period so far to only four for L.A. You know, like that means that the team that so far, that first period, they're into it. Jordan Nolan just on side, oh. and that one fooled Niemi. Kind of knuckled through to him as Regeer keeps it in on the left point. This is Clifford, and his wrist shot blocked by Hannon. Scott Hannon will move to it on the far side. Now look to move it up. Clifford gets a stick on it, and that'll why, come back to Niemi. He's going to hold it. it and hang it on. Why flip it there? Why not play that solid off the boards? The kind of a change up for Antti Niemi. You're a baseball player. You're a hitter. You're at the plate. You're waiting for a fastball, and it goes off of Brad Stewart. It kind of slows everything down. It's like a knuckleball change up that Antti Niemi's able to get his pad on. We've seen a lot of times this year where the puck has gone off. A San Jose Shark and into the net, like last game against St. Louis. 8-3 right now. Shot counter in favor of the LA Kings. Stole around for Dowdy. Up for Williams, but kept in by Irwin. Matt Irwin. Two points in St. Louis and plus two on Tuesday night. As his offense has sprung to life after spending a bit of time in the press box watching. That's through to the net. Now Thornton wants Burns. He got a piece of it. Turtle will move to it on this side. Checked by Stoll. In the corner, Thornton with a stick on it. Brown will skate it up to center for L.A. Both teams on a partial change. Here's Williams. Skates in, and it's saved by Niemi. Stays in, and now bounces Back through to center, but Pavelski couldn't get to it. And Green will change sides over to this side of the ice for Williams. Slapped in by Justin Williams to Green. Tommy Wingle will turn from pressure, but get it over to Irwin. Now he gets it out. And then back to Martin Jones. It's Kopitar. And a good back check by Shepard to get it away. Couture in there battling. And this is stabbed ahead by King. Classic. Played that pretty nicely against Carter. Marlowe quickly up for Havlat. Martin Havlat to the King's line. Nice little feet through the middle. Two Sharks there, Vlasic and Couture. And now Marlowe tied up by King. As Kopitar skates back to center for L.A. Gets by Havlat. Kopitar at the goal line. In front. Turn around by Toffoli. Saved by Niemi. Wrapped around by Voinov. Now Toffoli again for Lewis. Back door. Muzzin waits. And his wrist are blocked by Dujardin. And Dujardin's got good wheels trying to get free. But the Kings cut it off. Got a battle. Muzzin. 
He's clipped by Brown just coming into the zone, and the Emmys forced to hold it with Lewis on the doorstep. No score. Back to L.A. in a moment. It's been a good road trip. Two games in for Matt Irwin. A goal, a couple of assists, three points. The goal coming in St. Louis. And I love the goal that he scored in St. Louis. Look where he is. He drove the net right from the middle, stopped in front, and then got a rebound. Not only that, he was in the eyes of Yaroslav Halak to create that opportunity. He did an outstanding job. And when you're watching Matt Irwin, and I just you're watching him right now in this game, watch how he's skating. He's skating with some purpose. He's got quickness in his feet. He's supporting very well. So right now he's right on top of his game. Irwin's been scratched 12 different times this year. In and out of Chateau Bow Wow, but back on good graces right now, and deservedly so. And now Stewart off the faceoff. Gets it to Cannon. That's sealed off at the point. Back to Richard. He'll work it to Green. Can't handle the pass. Sharks will have two more games coming home before the Christmas holiday. Saturday against Dallas and then Monday against Colorado. Oddly, the Sharks have finished their season series with both Vancouver and St. Louis, but they haven't even played Colorado yet. Alec Martinez slowed down by Wingle. Cannon will send it back up the boards. Pavelski scoops it ahead for Wingles, but Martinez was back. And it's cleared back in. Can't be slow back to the puck. Right, here's your set for check now. They'll, they'll chase out. There they go. Desjardins starts up the wing. Moves it around in Kennedy's direction. Picked up by Brown to Tyler Kennedy. Now Brown trying to work it to Kennedy once more, but Jake Muzzin, nice job in the corner. Alludes to forechecking Brown and gives it to Jared Stoll. Tyler Kennedy did not dress in St. Louis Tuesday night. Anxious to come back and play better without the puck. He hasn't scored yes. in a while, but it's more about his defensive play. Absolutely. Minus five for Kennedy in his last six games. Now Tyler Kennedy with a steal off. Muzzin to the net. And that one hit the pads of Jones. This is a for sure. It's got in close. Did that one hit his pads? I thought it did. I think it would have to hit the pads being in that close, right? It did? Yeah. Is that a shot of Jones out to slow it down for Voinov. In comes Burns. Clashes into Voinov. And now Burns gets it up top. Vlasic, a quick shot to the net. Just missed the mark. Braun wanted Thornton coming out of that crowd, but it's intercepted by Kopitar. Back check. Strong back check by Hurdle. Regeer forced to turn. Now Slava Voinov through the middle for Andre Kopitar to Carter. Here they come, and the shot deflects off Vlasic wide. Right to Havlad, but Carter got across to break that up. Braun now to Vlasic. Havlad to center and across for Marlowe. Vlasic will have to move back deep into his own end here. Come on, buddy. Sharks have missed the net on eight shots. Shot attempts so far in this period. So there's that stat I think you were wondering about. They have five on goal, so that's 13 taken, but eight missed. And now here's Jordan Nolan for LA. Pulls the trigger on a wrist shot caught by Niemi. And we will step aside with 552. Left in a scoreless first period here at Staples. Last time these teams met November 27th at San Jose. Joe Thornton scored in regulation. That was a goal that made it 2-1, but eventually go to a shootout. And Thornton in the eighth round with the shootout deciding goal leading us to our McDonald's true stories. This is the list of most points by a player with his second team traded by his original team since 1988. Joe Thornton figuring prominently on that list. Jumbo picked up point number 700 as the San Jose Shark in St. Louis on Tuesday night. That's pretty cool. I don't think Jerome, Jerome had, had yet to play a game in the National Hockey League when he was traded. Joe Newendike went to Dallas, worked out quite well for Joe Newendike of the Dallas Stars, winning Stanley Cup, but Joe was Conn Smythe Trophy winner. 
And I think I think in that one, Jerome hey, was just coming off of uh, a great junior career. This face off will go to LA. Shot by Richards came right back to him on the rebound. Pavelski trying to move it out. He'll need help. He'll get it from Stewart, but then can't pick up the return pass. Now he'll get it into the zone. As he risks it in behind the other net. Shepard for Wingles to the net, and Jones with the pad down makes the save and covers. Sharks continuing to dominate, though, on the faceoffs. 12-5. Well, and faceoffs, as we know, are very important, but the Kings get one right here. Sharks actually win it back, but they don't get to it first. As the Kings do, and then bang, right away it's going to the net, but blocked in front. Be very, very careful in that situation because you've got people going net. I don't even think that Richards was shooting to the net. I think he was shooting for that man going to, going to the front of the net. Joe Thornton, one of three Sharks centermen, who's perfect tonight, 3-0 in the circle. And that one goes right toward the net. Drops for Joe. He's got it on the far side. Brings it back to Irwin. Looking for an angle to get the puck through. He did, and Jones able to make that tough save through traffic. And Jared Stoll and Joe Thornton having a problem. Drew Doughty comes in, grabs Joe Thornton. You've got to find a way to stay at the net. You've got to find a way to get in the eyes of the goalie. The Sharks are doing quite a good job getting shots, as you mentioned. That's the 14th attempt at the net. Goalies nowadays, and he's certainly a, a guy that's as hot as Martin Jones is and as big as he is. He sees it, he stops it, so he'll find a way to get the ice. Jones is 6 4. He's a big guy. Solid. Yeah. Marks for a sitting. Here's Brown. Williams back for Muslin, saved by the Emmy. Stoll trying to get a hold of the rebound. He swings it around. Back to Williams. That goes through the crease. A little late to get to it, but he wins the battle on the boards against Hurdle. And the Kings keep it alive. Williams drops it for Martinez off the bench. Back through the middle. Brown gives that one away to Matt Irwin. And then that comes off the referee. Skate! Poked away from danger by Boyle. Good stick. Sharks settle here as both teams make changes up the ice. Boyle on the stick of Couture, but he can't handle a hot pass. King in with Kopitar, and that's rejected back out to center. Logan sends it across for Vlasic. Mark Edward Vlasic's wrist shot to flex wide. Matt back behind the net, Matt Green there, two shots on him. He shakes off Couture, now moves the puck to Martinez. He flips it in the direction of Vlasic. And that'll go all the way down. Marlow gets there first on the Andrew Ison situation. Then he can't get the puck through to Havlap, but now it ends up on a stick anyway. Marlow kicks it to his blade. Coming off the boards, Patrick Marlow. Picked up by the King. Kopitar delays in center. Gives to Jeff Carter. Carter, drop pass. Regeer shot saved by the Emmy. Rebound pops all the way to the blue line. Regeer again. This one intercepted by Braun. And he'll play it back behind the Sharks' net. Classic, he'll reverse. Braun again as both teams change on the fly. Under three and a half left here in the opening period. No score between the Sharks and Kings in their five meetings this year. This is the Sharks' last game in L.A. this year. Heavy hitting on this shift as Jardin just gave Muzzin a pop. Cannon. And Jones will settle that for Muzzin. Intercepted by Desjardins. With Brown, tries to move Muzzin off the puck. Fraser falls behind the net. Kennedy with it. Tyler Kennedy trying to scoot after that loose puck now, but Fraser had to step on him. To Kyle Clifford, Stewart neutralizes him, but a good stick by Muzzin. And it's back into the Sharks' end of the eye. You've got to know that that pressure's on you when you're at the offensive blue line. Kennedy trying to stick handle away from Tafoli. Stewart just does get it out of the zone, but the Kings with a quick re-entry. Tyler Zappoli puts it on net, and the end of the stick save. Richard slowed down by Stewart. And this one's cleared out by Wingle. A little 
battle here in Los Angeles in this first period. We talked about the Kings on a recent stretch going 18 straight without allowing a first period goal. Pavelski takes his man Carter, but it's up the ice. And stole now coming into the shark zone. Irwin over to Boyle. Danny Boyle using the boards to move it up, but not out yet. Williams handed to Thornton. Puck does come out, and now the Sharks have L.A. tagging up, so they have some time. Hurdle with a hard hit by Green. Here's Williams. Pulls the trigger, block. Hurdle for oh, Bird. Oh. And there's a penalty. Tomas Hurdle slow to get up. He's hurting, heading to the bench, drops both his gloves and his stick. Tomas Hurdle favoring the lower body. Here's a wraparound try. Vlasic front of the net. Body's all over. Puck ends up in the net. A quick the whistle. Only interference actually going to be on the Sharks. Oh, no. Brent Burns. And also there's going to be a penalty to, to Dustin Brown. Hurdle's gone to the dressing room. It's, 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 this is just cheap. I, I, there's no other way to put it. Uh, you know what? I take that back. I take that back. I shouldn't have said that. That's not, he's not that bad. I thought when I first saw it, I thought he stuck his leg way out. He really doesn't. It's just a collision. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Let's listen to Kelly Sutherland here if we can. When I first saw it live, I thought he stuck his leg out. He really doesn't stick it out that much. He is getting he is getting a penalty. Now it's gonna be interesting to see what they're going upstairs about here on this particular one. So there's some I question think, as I to think, whether or not the puck entered the net? Well the puck did enter well, the net. And, yeah, but before Vlasic shot it in? Yeah, but I think what they're what they'll be asking is what the call on the ice is from Toronto. Yeah. It's a there's a lot of bodies and Brent Burns tries to get out of the way. I, it doesn't look like Brent's getting a penalty there. I thought he was originally, but the goalie is like, you saw interference right away. So Brent Burns goes in. That's maybe the interference that he's knocking Drew Doughty out of the way. Not on the goalie. Well, there's an interference indication from the referee. Yeah, it was. Saw right yeah. there. Well, that was when Brent Burns comes in, he bowls Doughty out of the way. Let's have a look at the overhead. So on the overhead view, you're going to see Brent Burns is going to come in top of your screen. He knocks Doughty out of the way. Now he does everything he can to avoid the goalie. And on that play right there, I think as the puck popped past Burns, did it go in first? That's, I think, maybe what they were looking at. Dustin Brown is being sent to the dressing room. Uh, or is he being just sent to the bench? He's just no, he's, what, he's going off. Wow, he got five and a game misconduct for kneeing. When I first saw it, I thought that it was, it, it was wrong. I thought, that, I thought that Dustin Brown had stuck out his leg, but when I watched it in slow motion, I didn't think it was that bad. Now it's five in the game and two minutes for Brent Burns for interference. This is very interesting. Here's, here's the real-time knee on knee. Now, I originally thought this was bad, real bad, but it doesn't... Am I wrong from there? It didn't look like he stuck out his leg, extended his leg wide. It just looks like they ran into each other. And, and when I, like I say, when I first thought, I thought it was dirty. But I, when I see it there, I don't think it is. I was wrong in my first assessment. Daryl Sutter obviously doesn't like the call. <laughs> That's Daryl's way of letting the ref know he's unhappy with the call. That was not Merry Christmas. No, it wasn't. It might have been a Happy New Year. His penalties come at 18:59. What did you think of the Brown? I thought it was, I thought I, I thought it's just a hockey collision. Like when I see it on replay, I think it's just a hockey collision. I was watching the puck up ice, so yeah. didn't catch the actual hit in the neutral zone. Daryl Sutter has lost his captain for the rest of the yeah. game. Sharks maybe on a power play in the second period, but right now we're four on four because Burns also got two for interference. Last minute of play in the first period. San Jose penalty yeah. to number 18, Brent Burns. Three minutes Los Angeles penalties to number 23, Classic. Dustin Brown. Marlow. Patrick Marlowe takes his shot, Jones the save, and he covered. Minor penalties, 1859. For San Jose Burns, minor penalty for interference. 
Now, with Tomas Hurdle, that's going to be, gonna be the interesting thing to watch. Will, is it just a, a contusion? Did he get hit on the knee? Where exactly? It, it, looked, Charlie like, Horse? it looked like above the knee. Yeah, yeah. But that certainly doesn't guarantee that wow. he's going to be able to return to this if game. If I'm a referee, though, right now, I, like, I know the Kings are upset about the call, but there's no way I let Richards and Carter both stand in front of me and berate me. If I'm a referee right now, I, I tee up one of those guys, or maybe both. You know, it's, it's, it's okay to be disappointed with the call, but you don't get to stand in front of the ref and try to embarrass him. Four on four here for the rest of this period, barring any other penalties. Thornton's pass for Boyle intercepted. Irwin, as we're under 30 to go in the period. We got 20 here. 20, Robo. 20, Robin. Thornton drops for Irwin. Now to Boyle. And Boyle down the wing. Pass through to the front. Wanted Thornton. White King for LA. He'll get it out to center. Slides it ahead for Jared Stoll to Regeer. And he'll take a shot at the horn. It comes to Niemi. And we've come to the end of the first period. 59 seconds left in Burns Minor. And then the Sharks would have a three-minute power play early in the second period. After 20 minutes here in Los Angeles, it's the Sharks nothing and the Kings nothing. Stick around, we'll check in with Brody Brazil and Brett Hedekin in our Sportsnet Central studios. And then Drew will be back to talk to Sharks defenseman Scott Hannon. Sharks Hockey on Comcast Sportsnet California is brought to you by Toyota. Do the map and save at your local Toyota dealer. A look at the holiday ice activity just across the street. I want to remind you that the California High School Football Championships start tomorrow right here on Comcast Sportsnet California. The state championships featuring five games over two days starting tomorrow at four with the Division Four championship game. Big games, hey? Eh? Yep, those yeah. are great. No score here after one period. Brett Burns will be in the penalty box to start this second. And that is Jordan Nolan in the box serving the remainder of the major penalty to Dustin Brown, whom, if you joined us late, was ejected from this game on a hit in the neutral zone, a knee-on-knee -knee hit as Brown collided with Tomas Hurdle. And Hurdle went to the dressing room, and right now no sign of him as of yet on the Sharks' bench. So who do you slide up there? We'll have to see what Todd McClellan comes up with. We still have four on four to deal with. The Sharks are able to get through this stretch. Four on four, they'll have a three minute power play. Dustin Brown, five man major. The penalty is number 71, Jordan Bowler. Dustin Williams leaves it behind the LA net for Drew Doughty. Williams chips it by Vlasic. Gets to it in the corner. Braun got a stick on the pass to Kopitar. Now he's got to stay with Kopitar, who tries to bring it to the net. Pavlat, back for Braun in the corner. He checks Kopitar off the puck. And back to this side for Marty Havlat. He'll slide a pass up the boards for Wingles. Just a little out of his range. And Jake Muzzin back. Sharks will have that three-minute power play in 12 seconds. Here's Doughty. Shot on goal, saved by Niemi. Tries to get Antti Niemi leaning and dropping down, kind of cheating with that shoulder to the ice. Antti Niemi read it all the way. Burns steps out of the penalty box, and now the Sharks with a three-minute power play. Burns will not be part of this first unit as Thornton takes his spot on the ice. Couture, stick handles it into the corner. Now a hard bank pass for Pavelski. Quickly to the blue line for Boyle, and he can't get it past Carter. Right at you. They will pressure up as well when they get the opportunity. Jeff Carter can come after Gamboa. And beware of the Kings shorthanded. They had four shorthanded goals this year, and it's one of those nights. There were six shorthanded goals scored in the NHL tonight. Wow. And one that uh, Pittsburgh came out of the penalty box. Had a breakaway chance. Holly Mata and do a penalty shot. Scored on that. Fourth battling Clifford. 
Sharks trying to outnumber behind the net. And now Joe's got it in the corner, out to the point. Boyle takes a few steps, puts it back to the captain. Thornton, a pass down low. Marlowe waiting, gets it to Pavelski. Didn't have much of a shot from there, and it comes out. Looking for something to open up, but the Kings collapse towards the net. Their sticks were in perfect passing lanes. Here's Marlowe down the wing. Reverse for Couture, but he couldn't pick it up. Now back to Logan. They'll find uh, Thornton, but it's cleared back down. An excellent penalty killing so far by L.A. Both teams down a man. Hurdle in the Sharks dressing room being attended to after the hit by Brown, who's out for the game. Out to Irwin. Shot hit the post. That's really well done by the Sharks to get that puck. Good job by Irwin to get rid of yep. it to the net in a hurry. That one's off the backside of Dowdy wide. Pavlet. Shepard had it hit a king. Now he gets it back from Burns. James Shepard slides for Havlat. Back for Shepard. Saved by Jones. Got his pad pinned up against the post. Chance again. Back in front again. Poked to the net. And Jones got a piece of that too. Well, poked by Tommy Wiggles again. Martin Havlat and James Shepard behind the net. Doing a great job with their sticks to loosen that puck up and get it out to the front of the net. So Shepard taking the hurdle spot on that second unit. Here's Marlow, but he can't get it back to his stick clean. And he's checked in the corner by Muzzin. Oh, Thornton mishandles the pass. Had him coming in too. Had Joe Pavelski coming in. Down to 15 seconds on this power play. Couture in. Round for Pavelski. He'll let it go to Thornton. Back inside, Marlow for Blasek, and the Sharks just out of sync right now. Just uh, polished, just at the tail end of that power play, which wasn't there. And that's it, back to five on five, still a scoreless game. Dejard on the pass from Kennedy. Brown behind the net, slowed down by Stoll. Jordan Nolan. Cut around Braun, unsuccessful. Really well skated by Braun. That's what you do to avoid an interference penalty. You keep yeah. your feet moving. Exactly. Chipped in by Andrew Desjardins. Brown, after getting it into the L.A. zone, will head off on a change. This will be icing called against Los Angeles. What Tom McCollum was upset about in St. Louis is that the power play sucked the energy out of the, the team. And not so here. Dynamite opportunity not once but twice. And then Martin Havlick kicks it out with one with James Shepard to Tommy Wingles who pokes it towards the net. Good work by the Sharks using their numbers to their advantage and to poke it, use their sticks to their advantage as well to poke the puck into some dangerous areas. The Sharks had some good chances. You're going, you got to go from good to great. How do you do that? Well, that's where that polish and execution comes in. Maybe a little quicker towards the net, maybe a little quicker with the pass, maybe one more guy in, in the right position to pop out, find that open ice. There's a face-off win for L.A. Of course, they're down a player for the rest of the game, so... Well, Sutter will be a juggling. Now that we see him five on five here for a bit, we'll see what he's doing to fill the spot of Brown as Pavelski can't quite get it away from him. Oh, oh. is fired back in. Support. Shepard. Stewart gets it out. Sends it to the other corner. Martinez there. Now to Foley. He sends it with a backhand right through the streets. Martinez scores! <laughs> All the way through Foley. The Emmy never saw it. What nothing kick. This might go off a Shark coming out the block and Alec Martinez a good forecheck but the Sharks get the puck and they're going to be out with the good pinch come back and cover comes out to Martinez have to look at that again guys and a little bit more of a closer look but I think that might have gone off the Shark that was coming out to block the shot from our vantage point couldn't see who that was 
Third of the year for Martinez. And the Kings break through first after killing the three-minute power play to start the period. They get the first goal of this game. Now Jake Muzzin. And that's caught by Niemi, and he'll hold there. Let's go to a, a closer look. And I was wondering how this goal went in from that far away. It wasn't that hard of a shot. Watch it go off Joe Pavelski. Joe Pavelski comes out. He's trying to block it. It goes off of his pads, goes off of his shin pad, and deflects to the short side past Antti Niemi. You're going to be in the shooting lane. You've, you've got to be in the shooting lane. You see Joe Pavelski is not very happy about it. One thing Tom McClellan, the coaching staff, talked to the players about, especially the forwards, you've got to be right in that shooting lane. Can't let pucks get by you. Muzzin a shot. And that's kicked out, and now Marlowe trying to control it. Muzzin fires it right onto his own bench to stop play. That's a tough break for Joe Kowalski and for Antti Niemi, and the Sharks had a good power play that didn't score, and then the Kings get fortunate with a deflection off of Joe Kowalski. Shows the importance, though, of getting the puck out, right? Having the opportunity when you get the puck in your own zone, get it out, be clean and quick. 526, time of the goal by Martinez. Tyler to Foley, who also qualifies as a rookie, by the way, because he didn't play over 25 games last year in his first season. Picks up his eighth assist of the year. Meanwhile, Martin Jones continues to shut out the opposition. That's been quite a common occurrence for Mr. Jones. Kings coming off a 3-0 win over Edmonton here on Tuesday night for Jones' third shutout in six games. That game was 1-0 late into the game, and the Kings were being outplayed by the Oilers, but Jones was the guy that really deserved all the accolades for that win. He's the third goalie in NHL history with three shutouts in his first six starts. There's a tip by Wingles. Sharks changing, he's going to delay and throw it back behind the net. The other two goalies who had three shutouts in their first six starts. Flat Walsh, remember he did yeah, that in 1929. Oh, right, right from behind. Second, that should have been a penalty. Drills Pavelski in the boards, then Stewart gets hammered on the other side. Shot comes through, Pavelski screaming. And now it's shot out of play by L.A. A penalty coming up, but that should have been a hit from behind on Dowdy. Martinez puts the Kings in front. Doughty, eight on eight. Francis and Chiron was right there. The he just looked right at it. I mean, that's, that's, that's when they draw up cross-checking diagrams. They show referees this is a cross-check. That's one that they show right there. No call. No penalty on that last shift. And the face-off coming in the L.A. zone. Couture stands in against Mike Richards. Kings in front by a goal. Couture gets it back for Braun. He'll accelerate down the boards. Plays it to the net. Bounces to the side of the Kings goal. Dumped out front on a backhand. Havlat. By the L.A. net. No one at the point yet, but now Braun gets there. Havlat can make the play. And around to Couture. He only got the toe of the stick on it, though. Good gear. Bumps it ahead, but not out. And to Foley on this side of the ice. We'll get it up to center for Trevor Lewis. Nice gap by Mark Edward Vlasic. Richards. He's back, and his wrist shot is blocked. Marlowe playing his 1,200th NHL game tonight to Couture. Logan is shot, and the save by Jones, rebound clear. Stewart jumps onto the ice, but can't get to that in time. Scott Hannon, and with good fortune injury-wise, Scott Hannon will reach the 1,000 games played mark this year. He's at 970, including tonight. Brent Burns with Thornton. Burns leans on Martinez, plays it to the feet, and it is saved there by Jones. Right, watch these, just hold it right there, guys. Watch these three guys work together for the San Jose Sharks. Go ahead. First of all, Mark Edward Vlasic, terrific gap. Now Martin Hamlet comes back and helps. Good job right there. Come back and help and support. Now you've got to readjust and handle the two-on-two. -two. 
Well done by Justin Braun. Then Mark Edward Vlasic comes back. He takes the puck. Puck pops it off the boards. Out of the zone they go. Really nicely done by Braun, Havlet, and Mark Edward Vlasic. Shepard stays up on the left wing in place of the injured Tomas Hurdle on this line. Centered by Joe Thornton. Munson to Dowdy. Clifford. Munson dumps it in as he bobbled the puck a little bit. That allows Scott Hannon to skate with it. This pass off the stick of Shepard. Back to Muzzin. Back to Clifford again. Now here's Kopitar against Thornton. Joe's going to get a penalty. Going to be a hooking call against Thornton. Oof. Kopitar, back to Martinez, he drops it for Stoll. Dowdy with the extra skater on for L.A. Stoll to the side, Kopitar can't put it home, and the whistle blows, and now wow. we'll get the call against Joe Thornton. They're going to call it holding. Goal saved by Matt Irwin. Joe Thornton's tracking back hard. He's coming back against Ange Kopitar. And it's that the left hand comes around and grabs Andre Kopitar. Jared Stoll looking at the back door to Kopitar, deflects it by him. There's the rebound opportunity of Matt Irwin's in perfect position. That's a shot pass to Kopitar, and there is the clear as Alec Martinez jumps down, and he is right on top of the play as well. Big kill for the Sharks. Go down 2 nothing against this team right now in this building. The way Martin Jones is playing is a huge hole to climb out of, so this is a critical moment. Joe Thornton has not spent much time in the penalty box this year. That's only his second penalty this season, both of the minors, in now his 35th game. And we were talking about Scott Hannon's 1,000th game that'll come this year. Joe now with 993 penalty minutes. Closing in on 1,000. Boynov doesn't like the shot, gets it back from Toffoli. Up top it's Martinez, and he flutters one wide. Classic working that side of the net. Nicely Sharks done. have it. And Pavelski gets rid of it. That's really well done by Mark Edward Vlasic and Justin Braun. Just in the right spot. To share that puck and get it down the ice. Kings power play has not exactly carried them. It's just three for its last 45. Oof. Good. As hit. Wingles in a collision there with Stoll and the linesman. Good entry into the zone hit. Point on back. A minute 12 to go on this L.A. power play. They lead 1-0. Play by Stewart. And then Hannon. Here's Drew Doughty. Cross center ice for L.A. Gains the shark line. Backhands it in off a deflection. High off the glass and out of play. And that faceoff is going to stay. Is it going to come outside? Uh, no, it's going inside. Going off a shark stick. Off sharks, off the Brown, I guess. So far, so good on this penalty kill as we're past the halfway point of this second period. And another faceoff win for the Sharks, allowing Justin Braun to send it down. Excellent job. That one goes off, though the glass and hit the middle part of the plexiglass where the fans are between the benches. So that comes back in right there. A little bit of a scare for those fans. They're up close and personal. This is where you really want to flex your face-off dominance muscle. And the Sharks have done that all night. 21-9 they lead on the draw, but on these penalty kills, so important. This time LA with it off the draw. Carter to Kopitar. Good pressure up by the Sharks. Classic. Stay with it. He's got Pavelski and Marlowe with, and he screams one over the net. Here's Pavelski getting it back. Tried to put it on the net from a bad angle, but he missed. Classic. Now Marlowe. Here's Pavelski. Had to stop it with his skate, and now the Sharks have to hustle. Three on two for L.A. Carter with Dowdy and Richards. Drop pass for Kopitar, but on his backhand. Takes away from Pavelski. Works it over to Carter. That'll roll through to Dowdy at the point. And then Carter lost it on the boards to Braun again. So the Sharks hold the Kings without a shot on goal on that power play. 
Here's Tafoli on the stretch pass, and he scores. Great shot by Tyler Tafoli. And the Kings didn't score on the power play, but they make it 2 to nothing. The Kings get the advantage of the change. Both teams changing. Tyler Tafoli jumps right out. He's the stretch man. He comes in. And he rips it. Wide side past Dante Niemi. Ninth of the year for Tyler Tafoli. So that's two points on the night for him. Really nice play by Voinoff. All of a sudden, Tafoli is making some noise in the Calder Trophy race. And so, of course, is the netminder for the LA Kings tonight with six straight wins. Martin Jones has shut the Sharks out through a period and a half, and he's getting the support at the other end. Lewis trying to swing it around. Regeer off the backboard to Foley again for Lewis. Here's King for to Foley. Martin Jones has got an assist as well. Shot through, the Emmy missed it with the glove, but it was wide. Chip by Tufoli, back to Regeer, and to the net, the Emmy's got it. So Tyler Tufoli set up the first LA goal. He scores their second and his ninth of the year. 2 nothing LA. Video center where you can see the new holiday video that everybody's talking about as well as get caught up with a pregame report. And after each game, cycle back to see post-game interviews and reactions from Sharks players and coaches. Go to sjsharks.com for more on the video center. Let's go back, look at the goal. This is the area you got to check out. That's where the teams are changing, and you're going to see Toffoli get on the ice and be the stretch man. Stretch man. Go ahead and roll it, guys. A nice recognition. Good release. Voinoff looks up, sees his man on the stretch. Takes off, shot towards the net, bang, in. Nice shot by Tyler Toffoli, really heads up play. That's just a good change to the advantage of that situation. You've got the long change, but it was a short change for Tyler Toffoli that led to the stretch and the goal. Toffoli spent some time up last year and went back to Manchester. And he's been up and down this year as well. But now has nine goals and 17 points on the year. And that was as pretty a shot as you're going to get top corner. Here's a shot that came off, came off a deflection. In and out of the glove of Niemi. Sharks need to bear down now. Yeah, Got to stay in this yeah. game. Well, Todd McClellan talked to his team about that. One of the, one of the keys of the game, one of the reminders, of, understand the type of game you're going to be in. You know it's going to be a grinder. You know it's going to be heavy. And you know that you're going to, to get down a couple. It's going to be a long way back. So you've got to be able to work your way into it. There's one that just goes wide. And the Sharks are spending a lot of time in their own end in this period. Green. That's taken by Kennedy. Pavelski. And there was interference up near center. Looked like. Yeah, Tommy Wiggles is yelling at the official. Official backing off of the call. Richards now across the line. Pumps a shot that hit the enemy's glove. Rocking on the shot. These guys can shoot. Right? Havlat for Marlowe. He'll gain the zone, throw it in the corner. Couture after it there against Jake Muzzin. And Tafoli will retrieve it for LA on the near boards and punch it out. 640 left here in the second period. Goals in this period by Alec Martinez and Tyler Tufoli have the Kings in the lead. Martin Jones, by the way, the goaltender got a second assist on that goal by Tufoli. His first NHL point in his seventh game. Marlowe. Going off the line, going across, and give it to Andre Kopitar. Burns. King trying to move it, and Kopitar comes in and solves that by picking it up. Back to Voina. He'll play it back around for Kopitar. Tried to get it to Carter out front. Now Thornton with Burns. 
And Thornton will throw it into the corner for Brent Burns. He'll use his backside to keep her gear out of the way. But the Sharks can't hold the zone. Kopitar checked by Stewart. I like the Brad Stewart's aggressive up the ice there again. Not giving the Kings too much room in the neutral zone. Right now, LA out shooting San Jose 22 to 16. Green trying to move Shepard off of it. Nolan down for Williams. And Stewart's right on him. And Brown now trying to move it further up the boards than that. Justin Williams gets it for LA, and here they come. Williams. Pulls the trigger, deflects wide. At the side of the net, and he's going to cover it as Nolan came hard to the San Jose goal. We'll be back at Staples Center in a moment. Back in Los Angeles, Martin Jones been the story of the NHL this past couple of weeks. Six consecutive wins since getting a start in place of Ben Scrivens. Both of them in a backup role to the injured Jonathan Quick, and that leads to our Geico quote of the game from Martin Jones after he beat Montreal for his second shutout in his first three starts, and he said, quote, I've got a stockpile of pucks now, and I've got to find something to do with them. Of course, first <laughs> NHL win, first NHL shutout, first NHL, second NHL shutout, and on and on and on for put the 23-year-old Martin Jones. Put him together, put him on a plaque, and... He's got another one tonight now, his first assist. Tell your grandkids, this is what I did when I first started in the show. Sharks need to find a way to get to Martin Jones here. Down 2-0 in the second period. Martinez dumps it out the near side, and it'll go all the way through to center ice. Find a way to get some offensive pressure going. Start winning some face-offs. Start getting pucks deep. Start going to work and generating scoring chances. And more than 16 shots. Irwin. No ice! No ice! You hear the linesman yelling out, no ice. Great chance now. Couture in alone, and it's saved by Jones. And got a piece of it with the blocker. Came way out. Aggressive challenge. Poke back out in front again by Hatlap with Carter with it. Logan Couture with two good scoring chances in this game. Couture again, and he'll just take his time here and then play it up the center for Martin Hatlap. Muzzin. Drew Doughty, Drew Doughty a plus nine in the month of December. Stole to the net, and Niemi with a save there. Aggressive by Antti Niemi as Clifford was going to the blue paint. Pavelski with a steal, Regeer back there, and Wingles tried to just poke it by it. Uh, Williams, but couldn't. That's not nose over the puck, you can't do that, Randy, you got to get right on top of that. Williams with a wrist shot, and that goes wide. Pavelski. Across to Irwin and up to Kennedy. Kennedy fighting the puck as he got to the L.A. line. Braun in ahead of him. Here's Wingles. Get there and help. Now Pavelski up top, Braun. Takes a shot off the post. Deflected off the post. Second post tonight for the Sharks. Braun, that's wide. Rebound. And no. Jones pulls it off the goal line. Tommy Wingles had a wraparound. And I think Jones pulled it off the line. He did. The Kings would have been furious here, too, because the puck on the post, the first chance, first deflection, it went off the netting. And it stayed in play. The Kings all stopped, and the Sharks took advantage. Here's the first chance. Or, sorry, second chance. There's the third chance coming up. Take one more step, Tommy Wingles, and it's in the net. But Martin Jones keeps it up. This one. Up, great chance, deflection, continues on. They may look at this. Yeah, this They're going to review it. They're going to review it right here. Here's the overhead. Yeah, this first part right here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah he keeps he it out. The big, the big swipe of the arm. But before that, on the very first chance, it went up off the netting. And the Kings were complaining, and they stopped. And the puck went back to Mark Edward Vlasic, went back D to D, and boom, it's coming right back in there. Here's the first opportunity. Up, 
Oh, uh, well, that's the one. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, that's the one. The first, the first opportunity. Puck and bounce. That was the shot by Logan Couture. That was the chance for Logan Couture, where he had that great opportunity. And again, Logan's got those looks, and you said, Randy, second chance for Logan, point blank, with Martin Jones. Nice shift for the Sharks, though. 2.55 left here in the second period. Two guys with, between them, that shift four glorious <laughs> scoring chances. Players here looking up at the Jumbotron as they're showing the overhead one more time. It was very close to going in, but... Well, look at the overhead one more time. It's got to be definitive that it either crossed the line or did not cross the line. Well, actually just crossed the line because the referee called a no goal on the ice. And that was the correct call right there. Geez, so close for Tommy Wiggles. He could have taken one more step. He, he's got a slam dunk. Stands at center against, or in the circle against Richards. And he wins the draw back to Blassett. Off the boards at the side, Thornton. Takes it to the net and lost it. Gone in a battle with Lou. A little pushback here for the Sharks. Look good right now. Slap back in from just across center by Blassett. Shepard. Burns, turns, fires, and Jones the save. Oh, that's a good save and a great chance. Good work on the forecheck by the Sharks. Shepard. Trying to get it to the net. Jones reached out for it, couldn't pick it up, but the Kings do have it. Carter will make it to Foley, back behind the net. Goodness, interference in front again. Muzzin took down Shepard, and the puck's oh, out of play. Oh, again, I like the aggressive nature of James Shepard. First of all, a great chance for Brent Burns on the forecheck. Shepard comes in, great job by Joe Thornton taking away the boards, turns, shot in the net, right pad. Well, Martin Jones makes the save. And then after that, James Shepard got the puck down low and just took it to the net. If you join us late, James Shepard playing on the left wing on Joe Thornton's line in the absence of Tomas Hurdle, who was injured in the first period. Brad Stewart is shot and Jones with the save. This is what you want to do, though. Now you start going. Start throwing more pucks than that. Activating your D. Winning face off. Getting to the puck first. Nice play. Brad Stewart jumps in. Backhand. You've got to work as hard as you can, though, if you're Martin Havlet, to get to the front of that net. Not stay on the outside. Marlowe trying to get to the pass from Couture. Back for Logan. Wants Havlat at the front of the net, but it didn't get through. Stewart will keep it in. Now cleared out by Martinez, who has one of the two L.A. goals tonight. The other belonging to Tyler Toffoli. Carter keeps it away from Havlat. Jeff Carter has it blocked by Hannon. Now Voinov settles, and to Robin Regeer. Stewart. Now on Jay Kopitar. Down for Carter. Back to the front of the net. Good battle there between Carter and Couture to get to that puck. Right here, and that's all the way through to Antiniemi. We are down to a minute left here in this second period. Last minute of play in the second period. An icing call here against the Sharks. Oh, uh, good push by the Sharks now. 23 20 the shots, and the Sharks, the Sharks have been. Aggressive on the faceoff, started winning them, and they've been very aggressive in the offensive zone, just trying to take pucks to the net, doing a good job taking away the boards. You're going to start building on those types of shifts, and you can grab some sort of momentum as the Kings in the second period with two goals had the momentum for most of the second period. Hannon can't get it up the boards. Pavelski back on it, goes to the weak side. Muzzin jumped in. Now back to Dowdy on this side. Clifford, checked by Hannon. Brad Stewart. And that's out by Wingles down into the L.A. zone. 
possessions. L.A. went up 5 or 2 nothing. The Sharks have had just five scoring chances. Thornton trying to find Burns coming in. Matt Green. And Boyle will give it to Matt Irwin. As time running down here in the second period where the Kings have done their damage and where Martin Jones has continued to play shutout goal for the Los Angeles Kings. Goals by Martinez and Tavoli. And after 40 minutes here at Staples Center in Los Angeles, it's the Los Angeles Kings 2 and the San Jose Sharks nothing. Stick around. We'll check in with Brody Brazil and Brett Hedigan in San Francisco. And then we'll be back with another edition of Sharpshooters here in L.A. Welcome back to Los Angeles as we get set for the start of the third period. The Kings leading the Sharks 2 to nothing in this third meeting between these state rivals. A win each so far, and the Sharks looking to get a victory on road ice here in L.A. And those have been few and far between over the past few seasons. In fact, that's gone both ways. These teams still have a couple more games to go after this one, and they will both be in San Jose. Next up, the Sharks hosting L.A. on January 27th, and then they'll meet one more time in early April. And I like the way the schedule makers spread out the Sharks-Kings games this year. October, November, December, January, April. A little bit of Kings-Sharks hockey to look forward to throughout the year. You mentioned the comeback now necessary for the San Jose Sharks, but that's a, a tall order against the the Kings. As you see the numbers when leading the Los Angeles Kings, perfect, 12 and 0. And we've been told now that Tomas Hurdle will not return to the game for the rest of this one here tonight. He was injured in the first period on a kneeing major given to Dustin Brown, the LA captain, which along with it went a game misconduct to Brown. The Emmy off that first shot of the period will hold for a face-off down in the Sharks zone. So he needs some stops from Nancy Niemi. Can't let anything else buy him in this third period, and the Sharks need to put more shots. They've only got 20 after two periods of play against Martin Jones. Okay, Woodcroft on the top of the about that last shot. Kings have 11 blocks, and the Sharks have missed 12 shots. And it's those missed shots that stand out the most. Early in the game, Logan Couture with one of the best looks the Sharks have had all night. Just missed the net. Now Marlowe up for Couture. Back for Robin Regeer. Dwight King comes in. Braun fell. King toe drag. They score. Jordan Nolan. And it's 3 0. Very rarely does Bounce Carter, sorry. Very rarely does Justin Braun get beat in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Sharks pop up, Justin Braun goes to play the puck. And he just falls down, he's not balanced. That allows Jordan King to come in. I've never liked that move where a defender slides on his belly. Moving in that situation where you're moving back towards the player and slide. If you're coming across, you maybe get a little bit better chance, but regardless. King made a beautiful play and a fantastic feed. And now the Sharks have a bigger task. So Jeff Carter, I said Nolan, 71. It was Carter with the goal. And the Kings now up 3-0. Muzzin from the goal line, and that'll go back around. Dowdy on the far side, but Thornton got to it first and pushes it out of the zone. Gets the other assist on Jeff Carter's 10th. And Stoll puts one on net, the stick save by Niemi. So it's Carter for King and Regeer, 36 seconds into the third period. Another chance for L.A., but a block as it comes back to Tyler Toffoli. Here's Jared Stoll on the right side. Matt Green, and he'll place this behind the net. Clifford trying to get to it. He's cut off on his way to the puck by Pavelski. Matt Irwin 
now. LA's record 12 and 0 when they lead after two. Schultz one six and one this year, trying to come from behind in the third as that puck goes out of play. So now everything you talked about in the dressing room, Drew, about how you want to start the period, how you can't let them get another goal, that's out the window. But you're still facing quite a bit of hockey in this third period. Now what does the focus shift to on the bench for the shot? I don't think the focus shifts at all. I, I, I think the one thing, you're, you're right, it goes out the window when you say as far as you can't get scored on. Well, we got scored on. So if you are in that dressing room, you say, listen, nothing changes about how are we going to get back into this game. You're one of the players, you're talking about we, you're talking about us. You're always mentioning the fact that we've got to do this, we've got to do this. And the attitude and the style of play can't change or what you need to do to be successful. And Jardin can't get a shot. Back come the Kings, Richards. And his shot blocked by Hannon. Off the stick of Wingles and the Kings able to clean it up in the neutral zone again. Lewis comes in. He's denied entry. Desjardins off the near boards. Wingles settles it. We're going to pull the trigger. He plays it out front. And it pinballs around. Wingles again wrapping on the other side. Backhand. And it stopped again as Martin Jones made the first save. And Vlasic now has it to flex up into the screen behind the L.A. net. Now to play. Trying to do everything he can to get it in. Sportsnet Central coming up tonight at 10.30 on Comcast Sportsnet Bay Area with Dave Feldman and Ahmed Farid. Got a post-game reaction from here. The 49ers getting ready for the Atlanta Falcons and Spurs Warriors highlights and reaction. All that coming up tonight at 10.30 on Sportsnet Central. Sharks now with 21 shots on Martin Jones. He's trying to get a fourth shutout in his first seven NHL games. Out front, the net teeter totters. Kopitar able to clear it from danger, but Couture back down the boards for Havlat, who's checked from behind, and there's a penalty to Jake Muzzin. How dumb of a hit is that? He's staring right at the numbers. Staring right at them. Boarding to Muzzin. That's just... What is the guy thinking in that situation? Well, obviously he's not. I mean, Buzzin's complaining. He's actually he's, he's actually perplexed about the call, which is mind-boggling. So the Sharks get a power play here with 17.09 to go in the third period. He's staring right at the numbers. He hammers him into the boards face first, and then he's surprised that he gets two minutes. Now here you go. Here's the Sharks well, opportunity to number six, Jake get a puck. Two minutes for Pass Martin Jones. Time for the Power plays had some great ones. Minor penalty for boarding at 2.51. Kravelski out at center with Couture on his right. Thornton at the left. Up top it's Marlowe and Boyle. Sharks are 0 for 2 on the power play. And one of those two was a three-minute power play that emanated out of the Brown major penalty in the first for the hit on Hurdle. Marlowe's got it. Thornton can't pick up the pass. Now he's having trouble too. And Lewis comes up the ice. The enemy will stop that and is forced to hold it. Well, the Sharks win the draw. They battle for that faceoff, but they can't execute a play down from Patrick Marlowe to Joe Thornton. You talked about the four shorthanded goals Los Angeles Kings have already. They're aggressive nature coming down. The ice getting the shot on Antti Niemi and face off now to the left of Niemi. Kopitar out on the kill with King, Dowdy, and Regeer. Right off the draw. Shot rejected as Dwight King let loose. Kowalski lost an edge, but he gets it back now to Dan Boyle. Thornton will send it in. Kowalski. Sealed off momentarily by Couture. Trying to get it back over to Joe Thornton. It comes off the scramble to Pavelski. He'll send it across. There's a shot. Save. Rebound. And Marlowe can't put it home as Jones stopped that one too. And it deflects out of play. Another good opportunity. Logan Couture does an outstanding job at the blue line. He's playing defense. He's back on the points in this situation as Joe Pavelski's in deep. Keeps the puck in. 
gets it down for a chance for Martin, Patrick Marlowe, and Joe Thornton connected. Jones makes not one, but two six off of two really good hockey players. Jones is sorry. He's just, he's just in that zone. 24 saves for Martin Jones. Jonathan Quick skating again. But the way Jones is going and the way Scrivens was going before him, there's no rush. No, oh, that's the that's the terrific comfort that the Kings have now is that they have that luxury of not having to push Jonathan Quick to get back. They're actually getting the points with their top goaltender out of the line. Question remains, will Quick be 100% for the Olympics where all indications are that he would be the starting goaltender for Team USA. Kings general manager Dean Lombardi also part of that Team USA staff. He was as well in uh, Burns. Irwin. And that's blocked. That's blocked by Matt Green. And Richard sends it down. Down to 20 seconds on the San Jose power play. They try and break out of a road power play slump that's down to over 18. Couture. Once Braun pinching. And a good block by Regeer. Braun gets it back off the skate. Couture goes up top. He missed the net. That's it for the power play. And the Kings are 3 for 3 on their kill. Now, as you can imagine, the anticipation in this building is whether or not Martin Jones can do it again. And it is another shutout, of course. 6-0 with three. Here's a pass ahead for Couture and a good stick by Martinez to deny him a chance. Lewis, and that's high. Hannon back. Jones is 6-0 right now. The all-time record for wins to start a season by a rookie is 8-0. Bob Froze did it for the Philadelphia Flyers back in the 82-83 campaign. Kennedy digging in on the boards against Nolan. Can't keep it in. And Muzzin will get to center and clear it. 27-24. The shots in this game in favor of L.A. A scoreless first period, and then the Kings scored twice in the second, and then early here in the third from Carter. Regeer, that's loose, they score! Dwight King, 4 nothing L.A. Forwards get caught a little bit low here as Mike Brown comes in, and then he's not able to stop the puck from coming to the net on the point and even though Scott Hannon stops the puck as he's trying to front it in the crease Dwight King is able to pick up the rebound but the key on that play is as the puck goes to the corner Mike Brown comes onto the ice and he's hustling over low when he doesn't need to be he just come on the ice and just for a second peruse the situation and be able to make the right play high stick coming up right there that's Mike Richards going to get it Maybe four minutes. The Emmy leaves the net. Sharks will have to go 200 feet here. On the half lat, and they're offside at the LA Blue Line. So we'll have a break. A Sharks power play when we return. Four nothing Kings. Sharks hockey on Comcast Sportsnet California is brought to you by American Hustle in theaters everywhere December 20th. Sharks go back on the power play. Mike Richards, not the cleanest play I've ever seen in my life. Kind of a slew, kind of a slew high stick right there. That's dirty too. Los Angeles penalty to number 10. Again, he's, <laughs> every, every player does it. Like, I'm not just saying that the other things. Every player does it. They get into the penalty box and they can't believe they're getting called for a penalty when they know that they did something. Two minutes for high sticking. More than that. 6.37 time of the minor to Mike Richards. Joe Thornton back out to Couture. 
Here's Marlowe with a shot, and that's why. Boyle, trouble with the puck. Dowdy right on him. Now Thornton gets it back out to Couture at the side of the net. Just ran out of real estate. Marlowe keeps it in, but now it's clear. So far with six shots on their power play. As for here and Marlowe collide. A tweener pass for Boyle. Starts to work coming to the zone cleanly. Now for sure, outmaneuvers by the To Thornton, and a save. Oh, he's too slow across to Patrick Marlowe. He allowed Jones plenty of time to get over. Marlowe was there. Here's Thornton. In front, backhand by Marlowe, and Jones got that. On the rebound, go to Thornton. Boyle for Joe Thornton. On the tour back at the point, Kilpatire intercepts. And gets it out of there, and down to 26 on the San Jose power play. across. James Shepard a move. Couldn't get all the way through. Good keep in by Burns. Now Irwin. His wrist shot block. He'll take another one. And that reflects into the door. Penalty's over. Richard steps on the ice. A perfect penalty kill night for L.A. They're four for four. Carter. And the Emmy with the save. Los Angeles goal, his 10th of the season, score by number 74, Dwight Jones. Arsenal gets to it before there's an icing opportunity. And number 44, Robin Regeer. Steered into the Emmy and a stick save. Williams colliding with Vaughn and now the puck goes out as Jardin gives Jared Stoll a little shove after the whistle. Williams comes in, Nolan's there too. Sharks power play tonight, 0 for 4, 9 shots, 10 scoring chances. But no goals. The last power play was not as inspiring as the previous ones have been. In St. Louis, the power plays actually took away from the team's 5-on-5 five -five play. And it hasn't been the case tonight. The Sharks have generated some chances with the man advantage, but I think other teams have found out playing against Martin Jones is no easy task of trying to get a puck by him. I think about those two misses, though, in the front in the first period. What kind of game would it be if have been right now if... A couple of goal posts. A couple of goals. Should have been. Martinez beats it up a bit at the point. He has a goal tonight. He has goals from two lines and in their defense. Green with a big hit there on the shark. And now it's Martinez back with it. Big Matt Green plays it across for his defense partner Martinez. That's stolen by Pavelski, but he's got nowhere to go. Richards, and now Nolan. Classic back defensively as Couture comes to center for the Sharks. Logan takes a shot, Jones, a glove save, and he'll hold it. Half a period left here in the third. We'll be back in L.A. It's been a physical night here at Staples Center. This is the big hit, the most controversial one. Dustin Brown with the knee. He got ejected for that on Tomas Hurdle. Cross-check in the back to Joe Pavelski. Hit from behind by Jake Muzzin on Marty Havlett. The high stick and near slew foot. Well, it was a slew foot by Mike Richards. Three of those, three of those, or every one of those, I should say, hits were called as a penalty, except the one by Drew Doughty on Joe Pavelski, and the Sharks have not been able to take advantage of those opportunities. The physical punishment they have faced has not paid off in goals. As we said coming in, the Kings are one of the most penalized teams in the league, but they kill penalties very well. Tofoli, who has a two-point game going, misses wide. 
Here's Marlowe with Couture. And it's cleared up, cleaned up by Robin Regeer. And he has a two-point night going. Regeer with the second assist on the last two goals. Tapoli with two points. Carter, two points. King, two points. Regeer, two points. And now Tapoli sends it ahead. It's checked by Burns. Thornton's back pass comes right to the stick of Kopitar off a block. And Carter dumps it on net. And he's got no choice but to hold it. You gotta find something. You gotta find a different gear. You don't. You want to go as much as you can, fighting right down to the last second. 8:55 left, and you're down for nothing. It is certainly easy to mail in shifts and just mentally check out. But what you do as a coach right now, you are doing everything you can on the bench to. Make sure you try to shake the guys out of that by changing the lines, by talking to them, by repeating, repeating all the things that you know in the foundation of your game. Just trying to find some sort of spark so your team goes into that night as fighting as hard as they can. Sharks have only been shut out once this year through 35 games, but they won that game. A shootout in Detroit that was 0-0 after overtime, and then the Sharks came through in the shootout round to win one nothing, and that's the only time that they've been shut out but they got two points and the third highest offense in the league coming into this game they're offside here I want to remind you that the holidays obviously quickly approaching and the 12 days of Christmas at the Shark Store underway. They have a new and exciting promotion each and every day. Tomorrow's special offer at the Shark Store. Buy one knit cap, get the second one for half off. Follow the Shark Store on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more details on every daily offer through the holidays. Sharks are back home Saturday night to host the Dallas Stars. 7.30, the play-by-play, -play, our pregame show at 7.00. Here on Comcast Sportsnet California, Mike Richards for the Kings. And a save by the Emmy of Tofoli. As Richards made a nice play. Initially looked like he was going to take it to the net. Yeah, a little burst of speed and a stop up quickly. Quick stop up turn, find Tofoli. Mark Edward Vlasic's in the lane, but just misses getting his stick on it and edging the Emmy over plenty of time to make the stop. Richards having another solid year. 27 points for the Kings. He is not on the score sheet tonight, nor oddly is Andrzej Kopitar. Williams misses wide. But Kopitar's line's done its damage. Carter and King. cover this up down to 741 left in this third period and a tough way for this three game road trip to come to an end for the Sharks the action. now the road woes continue the Sharks can't seem to find that a game you see some flashes of I say brilliance but flashes of the foundation that the Sharks a good save there. Kopitar straight off the draw. Now Marlowe for the Sharks. Ahead for Martin Havlat. He's got Couture. Logan. And he got his stick on that, but just not enough at an angle to put it on net. Nice use of the ice behind. Couture again behind the King's net. For Marlowe, who glided to the front. But it was intercepted by Boynov, and now all the way back to the other end. Turned over at the blue line to Voinov. Now Dwight King for Andrzej Kopitar. Sharks will have a chance for payback. 
January 27th when the Kings are in San Jose. Shepard wraps around, tipped off the stick of Jones. Good pursuit by James Shepard. There's a guy working hard. He's been one of the best Sharks forward tonight yep. as far as effort. Here's a chance for Burns, and that one deflects over the net. Burns against Lewis now. Puck fired out of there by Thornton. Back to the net. Jones will save. Stretch it out to Toffoli at center, but Matter went in control. Shots are 31-30 in favor of the Kings. Sharks are going to look at their missed opportunities early in this game. When they couldn't find the net, they're also going to identify that power play as something that just let them down tonight. Clifford. Out of the corner to Fraser. Back for Kyle Clifford. This line can just grind out a shift and take 40 seconds off the clock. do it. Change them up. Five and a half left here in the third. Two goals in the second, two in the third for LA. Four different goal scorers. Stoll will guide it back. Regeer to the stick of Williams. Justin Williams. Back to the inside. The enemy is saved. He paddles away the rebound that popped up. Good stick by Stoll there to keep it in. Brown checked by Lewis. Slash there by Williams on Mike Brown. Braun up for Brown and into the LA zone. So I guess if you're Daryl Sutter until there's back to backs. Or whatever the case may be, there's no reason you wouldn't keep well, playing Martin Jones. You know, you know Daryl Severus as well as I do. He, he he will play that hot goalie as long as he can. He'll ride that horse until he falls dead. We'll be back in a moment. And here it's time for our Toyota game summary. Get you caught up on all the goals in this game. Nothing in the first, then in the second. Alec Martinez with a slap shot. One off Joe Pavelski. Then Tyler Tafoli picks the top corner on the Emmy. In the third. White King, nice move, then Jeff Carter just cleans it up out front. And then just a bit ago, White King off a block that Cannon made. And there's your goal scorer, Martinez, Tavoli, Carter, and King. And that gentleman, Marty Jones, has been perfect in goal for the LA Kings. Wayne Thomas, the great nice. Wayne Thomas. Sharks goaltending coach. Nice one, guys. Uncle Darren, nice job, the great Wayne Thomas. And then Froze, of course, won the first eight. He's the NHL record. Assistant general manager, goaltender, coach extraordinaire, who's in the woo right now. And I understand who it's cold there right now. For the uninitiated, the woo being Worcester, Massachusetts. What about that viewer who's watching our telecast for the first time? They know. You think? Absolutely. The woo? You don't have to, to double count. All right. Here's Kennedy. Wrap around, out front. Sharks all around it, can't put it in. And now Jeff Carter will flip it out. <laughs> How many times has that happened tonight? Just so close, wrap around chances, the empty, the net is gaping. Nonetheless, the Sharks can't find a way to get it in. Irwin, up for Shepard. He'll get it across center and in. Burns gets it away from Green. Now across to Irwin. He has to settle it. Fires it. Get it out of the crowd. And Richards will clear it. Braun. And slapped in the good side of center by Burns. And Boynov will send it back out the right side for the Kings. We had an idea of the referee hitting the deck. I think everybody 
cheering because he got up and he's okay. Yeah, that's exactly right. Had an idea that Jones might be the real deal in his first win. It was in a shootout against Anaheim, and he stopped, and it went nine rounds. He stopped all nine shots in that shootout. Looked comfortable doing it, like he's looked very comfortable in the net. It's a 3-2 final score in that one. And then Hoham gets shutouts in the next two. And a shutout here on Tuesday night. And anybody that pounds the glass when there's somebody by it should be ejected from the hockey game. There should be a fan penalty yeah, box. Fan I don't know about yeah. totally ejected. There should be a, some sort of a sin bin for misbehaviors. That pounding of the glass is annoying. There's a goal by Marlowe in his 1,200th game to end the shutout bid, and it's 4-1. Well, the Sharks hit Tev had chances. They get 31 shots now, chances after chance. Good play by Patrick Marlowe coming into the zone, and then the support by Martin Havlett. Logan Couture going to the net. Three guys getting involved in that goal. Patrick Marlowe with that snap of a wrist, which he has done so many times in 1,200 games. Notches another goal, breaks the shutout of Martin Jones. And you think to yourself, the way the Sharks have played, I know the score is, is not flattering, but they haven't been, didn't stink up the joint tonight. They had some missed opportunities, and then they had some defensive lapses that have cost them. But I guess you take a little solace in the fact that they weren't shut out so far tonight. And Havlat contributes with another point as his offense starts to ramp up a little bit here. His game's starting to get better and better. Here's Wingle. And that's a backhander routinely stopped by the net minder. Let's go back to the goal one more time. Patrick, he's already loaded. See, he's already loaded before the puck even gets there. And that's a great lesson for young hockey players. Get ready to fire the puck no matter where it is. Stay tuned for Isher and Sharks postgame live, which follows immediately with Brody Brazil and Brett Hedekin back in San Francisco. Jamie Baker will offer his thoughts on tonight's game as well from here in L.A. That's coming right up. You know, kids always want to get the puck, then load, then shoot. You get a player like Patrick Marlowe, he gets loaded before the puck even gets there, so he's able just to fire it right away. It doesn't give the goaltender any chance to get across or get a glove or, or get anything, even sometimes see the puck. Marlowe's 16th goal of the year and his fifth point on the road trip, two goals and three assists. Here's Vlasic and his wrist shot block. Just couldn't get it off quick. Stop on Kyle Clifford. Clifford is just limping back to the L.A. bench. Give credit to Kyle Clifford. 4-1, minute and a half left, and he's still getting in shooting lanes. That assist for Havlat. Gives him three points in the last two games. Regeer, Green, and to Foley to clear it. Be sure to join us back at SAP Center on Saturday evening, 7 o'clock pregame live, 7.30, Sharks of the Dallas Stars. Last minute of play in the third period. Play in the lick of the Playing very, very well. Winning lots of games. 4-1 was the final in that one for the Stars over the Canucks, so they'll be feeling pretty happy with themselves coming into SAP Center on Saturday night. Quite possibly the fastest team of uh, forwards in the National Hockey League. But no joy for the Sharks here in L.A. tonight. As this one got away from them. Really at the start of this period, it was 2-0, yeah. and then just 36 seconds in, that goal by Jeff Carter was the real difference in this one as Marlowe's offside here with just under 18 to go. Yeah, that goal just, you, you try, or at least you say to yourself on the bench, and the coaches say to you, doesn't change, there's nothing changes, even though that goal goes in, but you know it absolutely sucks the life out of you. They score early and make it 3 nothing. And Todd McCollum talked about it. You've got to know what kind of game you're going to play today. And if you weren't going to be able to play that game, and they, if the score got away from you, it was going to be a long road back. Be the first one between these two that ends in regulation. This one that is a one, not a one-goal game. And it's a final now here at Staples Center. A 
two goal game for rookie Tyler or two point game for rookie Tyler Toffoli as the Los Angeles Kings move now four full points ahead of the Sharks with 52 in the Pacific Sharks with 48 in third and another victory to go seven and oh for Martin Jones 4-1 the final score and now Sharks post game live coming up next